<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let me say first, we thank and praise the universal order that we made it here safe today. And we thank that universal order that we'll make it back. Let me say to you young folks, uh, next week I will celebrate my 80th birthday. <laughs> and people ask me, they say, you look so well. How do you know when you're getting old? Let me tell you young folks, you know when you're getting old, when somebody compliment them beautiful alligator shoes you wearing and you barefooted. <laughs> I've been in all the movements all over the world. This one is different. This one is different. Don't let the major news media defined who you are. Huh? They didn't buy your ticket. They didn't send you plane fare. You got here on your own. And you got here without the help of the establishment. While we are here, a bulletin just came through right down the street, President Obama or Doris endorse what you all are doing here. Huh? That's who you are. And remember, you got to think. And that's what's good about you youngsters. You're not bringing old baggage. I mean, I had just about been convinced that all Negroes look alike to white folks. I believe that until President Obama got elected, and I haven't had no white people walk up to me and say, excuse me, Mr. President. <laughs> what they can't deal with is a friendly face. Huh? They can't lie on you. You didn't come from Mars. You didn't come from different places around the world that hate America. You are homegrown American children. <laughs> they didn't suspect you would get here. Now they're sitting around saying, how long y'all going to stay? Huh? Well, in the ghetto, we say, how long your mama going to stay? <laughs> and look at this crowd before you leave here. And look at the beauty and the kindness in the honesty, in the peace. And all you have to remember is a little turtle, huh? A little turtle was here doing the dinosaurs. They outlived the dinosaurs. They don't walk fast, huh? And all you have to do is be a turtle, hard on the outside, soft on the inside, and willing to stick your neck out, huh? Willing to stick your neck out, huh? Huh? And let me say this to you. You've already won. Because you're giving people hope that didn't have no hope. People say, well, well, what about the tea party? This is the tea party. This is the real one. Hmm? This is the one that come close to the one in Boston. We're not coming here with no axes to grind. We come here to change a system. And as I leave you today, I say to you, Martin Luther King, personal friend of mine, he wasn't killed because of racism. He wasn't killed because of segregation. He wasn't killed because hateful, mean, bitter white folks. He was killed because he became the first black person in the history of America to get in a position to determine public policy. Huh? And I say to you today, here, across this country, in New York City, you are fixing to change public policy. Yeah. 
And they can't kill that. And just remember that. We're not here arguing with no police. We're not here arguing with Democrats and Republicans. We above that. They're not the problem. They have to do what Wall Street and the super rich tell them to do. But what make us so powerful, we didn't have to get permission from them to be here. That's who you are. And as I leave, can we have a soft, quiet minute for one of the greatest civil rights warriors, Dr. Fred Sullivan, who died yesterday. And let me tell you about Fred Sullivan. When I heard that he died yesterday, I smiled. Because those of us that's in the forefront of that movement, we very seldom died from natural causes. <laughs> well, Brother Fred died from natural causes yesterday. And had he not been there, we wouldn't have that black man in the White House. One person. And let me leave you with this. Don't worry about if you get your name in the paper or if you get your name on the radio or TV. When that universal God force pick you, it leaves no footprints. Thank you. Take Gregory!